Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here and we're going to talk about rotations. It's the second video on rotations within the topic of transformations. So what do we want to do? Well in video one we talked about how to rotate a shape and in this video we're going to describe a transformation that is a rotation. So in the exam you usually get three marks as follows. The first mark you would get for stating the type of transformation the type of transformation that has happened between the object shape and the image shape. In this video, we're all dealing with rotation, so you'll always get your mark for stating a rotation. The second mark you get when you're dealing with rotations by saying by um, how many degrees, so how many degrees, and the direction. And the third mark you'll get for saying the centre of rotation. So all this video is about is recognising a rotation and stating it is a rotation by how many degrees and in what direction and what the centre of that rotation is. So let's have a look at an example. Here's an example. We're asked to describe the transformation from shape uh, C to D. Now remember C is going to be our object and D is going to be our image. So we're trying to get from the object to the image and we're trying to describe what transformation makes that happen. Now in this particular case you may look at another video um, that we do on reflections and you might see that C and D are reflections in the line Y is equal to zero. And that's true but that's not the per point of this video. I'm uh, describing how this is a, trans uh, a rotation even. So firstly what I'm going to do is I, I, I notice there's a rotation because the shape has looks like it might have been turned, okay? That's what makes me think it's a rotation or um, a reflection because of the turning of the shape. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get my tracing paper out. So here's my tracing paper and I'm going to put it over the shape and I'm going to uh, trace out the object shape. So I'm going to trace this out like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to guess the centre of rotation. So I'm going to guess the centre is the origin. It's a good place to guess. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pen down and hold the paper there. Now what I'm going to do is going to twist this shape and see if I can make it twist into shape D. So, I'm going to go clockwise. It looks like going clockwise is going to be the best option. So I'm going to go clockwise and I've twisted it a quarter turn, which is 90 degrees, and it fits perfectly. So I know now I have described this transformation. So what is this transformation? Well, for one mark, it is a rotation. For the second mark, it is a rotation of 90 degrees, and we're going clockwise. And for the third mark, the centre of rotation is actually the origin, which is zero, zero. And that's how I would describe that transformation from C to D. Let's look at maybe a more complicated example, example two. Right, we're describing the transformation from shape C to D again. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to get my tracing paper out. I think it's a rotation because the shape seems to have turned. It may be a reflection as well, but I'm going to try and see if it's a rotation. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to put my uh, tracing paper here and trace the shape. So um, I'm going to trace the image shape, first of all. As follows. And I'm going to actually assume this the center of rotation, maybe it's the origin, okay? Maybe I'm thinking it's the origin, so I'm going to put my pen there, and I'm going to try and see if I can um, move uh, the tracing paper such that it, um, the shape C will fit in shape D. So I'm going to do a twist, let's maybe go clockwise, so there's 90 degrees, and there's 180, but alas, it doesn't actually fit for me. So I know my centre cannot actually be where I thought it was, 
and the center cannot uh, is not actually zero zero. So I'm going to try another point. Now the question is what point to try? Well, actually, um, I'm going to try. I'm going to keep moving the tracing paper to different places until I find uh, a place to hold down the uh, tracing paper that works. So I'm going to try one over, maybe here. So let's see if that works. So I'm going to hold my pen down. I'm going to hold my pen down on, the, on uh, this point here and let's see if that works. So I'm doing a twist of 90, 180 and yes it works. It, it, it perfectly um, fits in there. Of um, So it's 180 degrees clockwise about the point 1 zero. Okay, so to get the full marks I would say that I have a rotation. You don't have to actually say it's clockwise or anti-clockwise because both works. 180 degrees and it's about the point, the center, one across and zero up. So I found that by trying zero zero and trying different points, holding the pen down on different places until I found the uh, the rotation that actually worked for me. Okay, so we've done two examples now. What you've got to do is just move the tracing paper around and hold it at different center enlargements until you get um, uh, until you get the uh, the rotation that makes you fit the object into the image shape. Let's have a go at two exam questions to see if you understood this. So here's the first one. In ten seconds, I'll go through the answer. Okay, so I'm going to put my tracing paper over um, the shape uh, P. I'm going to trace out shape P as follows. And then I'm going to see if I can perform a rotation. So I'm going to start off by holding down the... Um, the tracing paper at zero zero, pen down at zero zero. I'm going to twist this so there's 90 degrees and there's 180 degrees, and it seems to perfectly fit. So my transformation is for one mark a rotation, for two marks, how much? Well, 180 degrees. It doesn't matter if it's clockwise or anti clockwise when it's 180, and for the third mark about the center zero zero and there are my three marks to fully describe this transformation for three marks right let's have a go at another one so in 10 seconds I'll go through the answer to this one okay so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put my tracing paper over it. I'm going to trace out my shape. So I'm going to trace out shape. I'm going from A onto B now. It's important I'm going from A onto B. So I'm going, I'm going to draw, trace my shape A because that's my object shape. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to hold my pen down on zero, zero, and I'm going to try and trace, uh, turn, the tracing paper to see if I can um, fit shape A into shape B. So I'm going to rotate 90 degrees um, anti-clockwise and then 180 degrees. Now realize it does not fit. Okay, so zero zero cannot be the center therefore. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and uh, move the center to somewhere else. So I'm going to take this away. I'm going to try and see if the center could be, let's say, um, one zero, so I'm going to move, uh, see if the center is actually going to be one zero. So move my center, hold the pen down there, trace out shape A again, and let's see if that's any good. So 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and yes, that perfectly fits in. So to get my marks, I'm going to say it's a rotation, 
I'm going to say that it's 180 degrees and I'm going to say it's about the centre, the point zero 0.01. And that's what gets me from shape A onto shape B. And that's all you need for to be able to describe um, rotations in a GCSE paper. Thanks loads for watching, hope you found that useful. Um, take a look at the other transformations videos for more help in that area.